Kate Walsh is opening up about her health. The actress, in an interview published Monday in Cosmopolitan, revealed that she is now fully recovered after being diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2015. She talked about how her symptoms progressed, her reaction to the diagnosis, having the benign meningioma removed in her recovery. After working long hours on her TV show Bad Judge in the winter of 2015, Walsh felt worn out. While discussing how her symptoms progressed, Walsh explained, I had been working insane hours, maybe 80 hours a week, and also working out really hard, so I wasn't surprised. I figured okay, I'll change up my workout routine, I'll go back to mellow stuff like hiking. My pilot's instructor said hey, your right side is dipping, and it didn't feel like I was off, but I looked down and could see it. Lincoln Park to play Bennington tribute at Hollywood Bowl. How 13 Reasons Why Kate Walsh Got Into the Mindset of a Grieving Mother Walsh played a doctor for many years on Grey's Anatomy in private practice, but the actress explained that her experiences didn't make her feel more comfortable in a hospital. It was the total opposite. Walsh said. You'd think that, after playing Dr. Addison for the better part of a decade, where I spent more time on a hospital set than at my house, that I would feel somehow more comfortable, but I was such a little scaredy cat. In the hospital, I felt like I might as well be six years old. My mother gave me rosary beads, my friend gave me a stuffed animal to go into surgery with. I played a real badass on TV, but when it comes to being a patient it's such a vulnerable experience. Spicer says critics reading too much into Emmy appearance looking back on her diagnosis, Walsh said that the most important thing she's learned is to go see a doctor. We're also socialized to try to self-diagnose, she said, like I'll change my workout, I'll change my diet. I'm very proactive and willful and independent, and in the past, even though I played a doctor on TV for years, I was not one to go see doctors very often, other than for my annual ob appointment. So for me, it was a really big wacky call to do annual checkups. We should go get a checkup the same way we go to the gym, just preventatively, instead of waiting for something to go wrong. Private practice reunion. Kate Walsh. Tay Diggs and more stars come together in Spain for special wedding Eddie Vedder joins street musicians for surprise Wrigley said Walsh also told the publication that she originally didn't want to share her experience but now hopes telling her story could help others. This was a very private experience for me, she shared. I really didn't want to talk about it, I wanted it to be mine, but I knew that someday I would want to share it. One of the most interesting things for me about this diagnosis was that this tumor is twice as common in women as men. It can be especially hard for women to take time out for their health, your mothers, your career women, you're spinning all of these plates, and it's hard sometimes to hand over the superwoman cape and ask for help. Walsh recently had a reunion with Grey's Anatomy co-star Patrick Dempsey for a campaign with Cigna which also stars two more actors who have played TV doctors, Neil Patrick Harris and Donald Faison. Five biggest jaw-droppers at the 2017 Emmys in the video ad, Walsh says, we're partnering with Cigna to remind you to go see a real doctor. And in her Cosmo interview, Walsh added, when the Cigna campaign came along, I thought it was a perfect marriage. I loved the humor of the storytelling, poking fun at TV doctors, and it was a way for me to talk about my own personal experience and be of service to others.